200 miles an hour is very fast. But you'll be surprised by how many cars you can buy right now that can go even faster than that. I've put together a list of the fastest cars from every manufacturer that can all do more than 200 miles an hour. This is a crazy list. There are cars with naturally aspirated V12s. There are twin turbo V8s. There are electric cars. There are hybrids. There's even a crazy four-seater that only has a three-cylinder engine, but it's still one of the fastest cars ever made. And I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about these cars because I'm Matt Watson and you're watching Car Wow. Buy, sell, Car Wow. Before we get into this list, I need to tell you a few cars that I haven't included. Firstly, the Tesla Model S Plaid. Tesla says this car could hit 200 miles an hour. It even advertises this fact on the Tesla configurator. But if you buy one, it comes with a 175 miles an hour speed limiter. What's all that about? Another car I haven't included is the Pagani Utopia. This all new hypercar has a twin turbo V12 with 864 horsepower and the whole car weighs less than 1300 kilograms. So you can bet it will do more than 200 miles an hour, but Pagani hasn't quoted an official top speed. So it can't go on this list. Well, not yet anyway. This means the first 200 miles an hour capable car on this list is a Lamborghini, but it's not an Aventador. Yes, the Aventador Ultima will hit 220 miles an hour, but Lamborghini has sold the very last one and it won't build anymore. This means that the fastest Lamborghini that's on sale right now is a standard Hurricane Evo. This car has a naturally aspirated 5.2 litre V10 with 640 horsepower, and according to Lamborghini, it'll do more than 202 miles an hour. That's a smidge quicker than the hardcore Huracan Technica. That car tops out bang on. 202 miles an hour. Next on this list are the fastest cars from Dodge and Maserati. Dodge's quickest cars are the Charger Hellcat Red Eye Widebody and the Challenger Hellcat Red Eye Widebody. These come with supercharged 6.2 litre V8s that pump out 797 horsepower and they'll both hit 203 miles an hour. Maserati's fastest car also maxes out at 203 miles an hour, but it isn't the MC20 sports car, it's the Quattroporte Trofeo. This has a twin turbo 3.8 litre V8 with 580 horsepower. That's 217 horsepower less than the Dodge Challenger and Charger, but the Maserati has the same top speed as those cars. I guess Italian horsepower is a bit more athletic than American horsepower. If you fancy any of these cars, you better act quickly. Dodge will stop building the Charger and Challenger this year, and Maserati doesn't have any plans to sell the Quattroporte Trofeo in 2024. Another car that will disappear soon is the Audi R8. It's based on the same chassis as the Lamborghini Huracan, but it actually makes less power than that car from the same 5.2 litre V10 engine. Performance versions come with 620 horsepower, which is 20 horsepower less than the Huracan Evo. But despite this, the R8 is still faster than that car. Audi says the V10 Performance Coupe with Quattro all-wheel drive will hit 205 miles an hour. That's three miles an hour more than the fastest Huracan, because I'm assuming that more than 202 miles an hour in Lamborghini speak means 202.1 miles an hour. Anyway, the R8 also has the same top speed as McLaren's fastest car. You can't buy a Senna nor a Speedtail anymore. They're both sold out. And the same goes for the limited run 765 LT Coupe and Spider. McLaren has just stopped taking orders for the 720S too. The GT is still on sale, but that car runs out of puff at 204 miles an hour. And that leaves the new Artura as the fastest McLaren you can buy. This new hybrid has a 3.0-litre twin-turbo V6 and an electric motor to produce a combined 680 horsepower. Max it out and you'll be doing 205 miles an hour. The Audi R8 and McLaren Artura aren't the only cars you can buy that will hit that top speed though. There's also the new Lucid Air Sapphire. This electric saloon has three motors like the Tesla Model S Plaid, but it cranks out a supercar crushing 1,200 horsepower Best of all, its top speed isn't limited like the Tesla's is. And Lucid says the car is good for 205 miles an hour. Next up on this list is Bentley. The massive flying spur speed comes with a six litre twin turbo W12 engine that pumps out 635 horsepower and it's capable of 207 miles an hour. But the lighter Continental GT speed has a 660 horsepower version of the same engine and it manages to edge just ahead with a top speed of 208 miles an hour. Bentley isn't the only British car maker with a need for speed. The Aston Martin DB11 AMR will also crack 208 miles an hour. 
But what about the Aston Martin DBS Superleggera? Isn't that surely faster? Well, that car will hit 211 miles an hour thanks to its 725 horsepower version of the DB11's twin turbo V12. But Aston Martin has just waved goodbye to that car with the special 770 Ultimate Edition. And guess what? Every single one of these cars is already sold out. It's the same story with the F1 inspired Valkyrie hypercar. That's supposed to be capable of more than 250 miles an hour, but all the coupe and convertible versions of the Valkyrie are completely sold out. The fastest Ferrari of recent years is the SP3 Daytona. That'll hit more than 211 miles an hour, but once again, you can't actually buy it. This exclusive Ferrari was sold out even before it was revealed. Typical. The Ferrari 296 GTV and GTS will both manage more than 205 miles an hour, but the SF90 Stradale is even faster. This uses a twin turbo 4 litre V8 and three electric motors to make a combined 1000 horsepower, and it'll top out at exactly 211 miles an hour. You can also get it as a convertible, and that has exactly the same top speed as well, so long as you keep the roof up. Next on this list would be the Ford GT. That car can manage 216 miles an hour, all thanks to its lightweight chassis and 656 horsepower 3.5 litre twin turbo V6. But Ford has just sold the very last LM Special Editions of the GT, and it doesn't plan to make any more. And if you can't buy it, then it can't go on this list, right? The same goes for the Gordon Murray Automotive T50. This modern interpretation of the iconic McLaren F1 is very fast. It'll do 217 miles an hour, but all 100 cars have been accounted for. Another car that can hit 217 miles an hour is the Pininfarina Batista. Instead of a roaring, naturally aspirated V12 like the T50, this comes with a battery and four electric motors that make 1,900 horsepower. Unfortunately, Pininfarina has already sold every car it plans to make, but the motors and batteries in the Batista actually come from another car maker, and that firm makes electric hypercars that go even faster than this. Best of all, you can still buy one of their cars, and I'll tell you about that a bit later in this video. You can probably guess what it is. It's not a Lotus. You see, even though the 2000 horsepower Lotus of Bayer can do 218 miles an hour, can't go on this list. Lotus, once again. They've already sold all of the 130 cars it's gonna build for around two million pounds each. But what about the AMG One? That 290 mile an hour hybrid is the fastest Mercedes around, but it's been delayed so many times there must still be some for sale, right? Nah, wrong, wrong, wrong. Even though it was revealed almost six years ago, Mercedes has easily flogged all 275 of these road going F1 cars for around two million pounds each. The fastest Mercedes you can actually buy is the AMG GT 63S four-door. The standard version and the e-performance hybrid will both do 196 miles an hour. But remember, that is not fast enough to go on this list. So where does that leave us? Well, don't worry. There are still plenty of cars on sale that are much faster than those AMGs. Like this. It's called the Aspark Owl. This Japanese hypercar comes with four electric motors like the Batista, but it makes 2,012 horsepower. That makes it one of the most powerful road cars ever made. It's also one of the lowest cars ever built. It's only 99 centimeters tall. This low drag design means it can hit a whopping 249 miles an hour. Aspark is only gonna build 50 of these cars, and they'll cost more than 2.5 million pounds each. That's enough to make your head spin. Bit like an owl, I guess. Most cars that can do more than 200 miles an hour are two-seaters, but not this next one. It's the Koenigsegg Jamera. This bonkers hybrid is the fastest Koenigsegg you can actually buy. All versions of the Yesco are sold out, including the Absolute, which is supposed to do more than 300 miles an hour. The limited edition CC850 is also unavailable. The car sold out so quickly that Koenigsegg had to expand the original production run from 50 to 70 cars, just to make sure some law customers didn't miss out. Anyway, you can still buy the Jumeirah if you have 1.4 million pounds lying around. And this car is unlike anything else on my list. It uses an electric motor and a tiny two litre turbocharged three cylinder engine. This features Koenigsegg's new free valve technology, which means it has no camshafts at all. It cranks out 600 horsepower and sends all this power to the front wheels. The rear wheels are driven separately by a 500 horsepower electric motor on each side. This system produces a total of 1700 horsepower, which is enough to blast the Jumeirah to more than 249 miles an hour. Not bad for a three-cylinder hybrid. 
The next car on this list is the Singer 21C. This single-seater hypercar was designed to smash lap records, but it's also incredibly fast in a straight line. It's made using ultra-lightweight 3D printed parts and only has one seat. Its tiny 2.9-litre twin-turbo V8 comes with two electric motors that produce a total of 1,350 horsepower. Singer says this car will hit 253 miles an hour, but it's also working on a more aerodynamic version called the 21C V Max. This car has carbon wheel covers and a longer tail to reduce drag, so it should be even faster. You might not have heard of the Singer, but you definitely know the next car on this list. It's the Rimac Nevera. Rimac sells its motors and batteries to Pininfarina to build the Batista, but it made sure the Nevera is more powerful and even faster than that car. Its four motors produce 1,914 horsepower and help blast the Nevera to a top speed of 256 miles an hour. That makes it the fastest electric production car ever. Rimac CEO Matej Rimac also runs another car company, Spaghetti. But where's Spaghetti on this list? After all, the standard Chiron will hit 261 miles an hour. Well, once again, you can't actually buy a Bugatti at the moment. The Chiron production run is completely sold out. And so are all the special editions. That includes the Traxpec Devo, the Retro Cento Diecci, the Mistral Roadster, the Belide, and the Supersport. There is another way to get hold of a new Bugatti, but it's very expensive. You just have to order a completely bespoke car like the unique What's Your Noir. There's just one problem. That car costs more than 10 million pounds and that's before tax. But what if you don't have an eight figure sum in your bank account? What are the fastest cars you can actually buy right now? Well, it's a toss up between two cars from Hennessy and SSC. These American brands have been working on their own Bugatti rivals for years and they both claim their cars will do more than 300 miles an hour. These aren't fancy four-wheel drive hypercars, they're old school hot rods with twin turbo V8 engines and rear wheel drive. The Hennessy Venom F5 has a 6.6 litre twin turbo V8 with 1,817 horsepower. It recently clocked up a speed of 271.6 miles an hour. The F1 Venom Coupe is technically sold out like the Chiron, but Hennessy will sell you a Roadster that's supposed to have the same top speed as the standard car. But what about SSC? Its fastest car is called the Tuatara. It has a 5.9 litre twin turbo V8 with 1,750 horsepower. But even though it has a smaller engine with less power than the Hennessy, it's actually supposed to be faster. The SSC managed to hit 295 miles an hour on the same runway that Hennessy used to test the F5 Venom. That means the SSC Tuatara is the fastest car you can actually buy new right now. But don't expect these cars to be available for long. You can bet there are loads of rich buyers just waiting to see which of those two cars will hit 300 miles an hour first before they decide which one to buy. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. Let me know if any cars do you think I've missed from this list in the comments below. Click on those windows there for some more videos and on that box there to subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to do that.